Hey everyone, I'm here with another video and this is going to be kind of like a uh, reflection, not a tutorial or review like I normally do. So yesterday I went to a funeral. A close family friend of ours passed away and he went in for a very simple procedure. Very, very simple. It wasn't even supposed to take very long. Something went wrong, unfortunately, and he's no longer with us. So um, I went to the funeral and... You know, his uh, family and his friends were there. Of course, we sang. Well, not we. Uh, I did sing. But, you know, they sang and um, people told jokes or told, you know, stories about his life and uh, just talked about, you know, talked about the things he had done. And um, I think what I just couldn't get over was, like, how crazy this, how life, how crazy life is because we would have never, ever thought that you know, when he went in for that procedure that we would be here now. Well, we would be there yesterday uh, for that reason. We would never think that. And I mean, I know no one ever expects death. No one ever expects um, bad things to happen. <laughs> no one expects it. No one knows when it's going to come. But um, it's just crazy how things, um, how, during, how things transpire. So the last time I was at a funeral was a little bit over a year ago. And uh, it was for my cousin, my younger cousin. He was shot and killed. And he was only 19 years old. And again, I just couldn't deal with... Well, I, one thing I just couldn't grasp, I couldn't quite make sense of, which, you know, most people like myself cannot, was just why and just just how crazy it, it that it was that it happened he was not even supposed to be there where he met his end he wasn't even supposed to be there he was supposed to be like an hour away and i think he missed a train or something like that wherever it where he was he was not supposed to be there at that moment and it was a complete like chance that he was there and he was only 19 years old and i just remember thinking he was only 19 years old what did he get to do what did he get to do? What, he, did he go away? What you know? Did he? What did he do in his life? He was only nineteen. But now I was reading the eulogy, or you know, the program yesterday. And our family friend was an older gentleman, and they you know discussed how he had been married for forty years to his wife and the things he had done. And I still just said, that wasn't long enough. I will never forget this. When I was in college, uh, in geology class, the very first day, the professor was going through, um, you know, some materials, and he was saying that um, the Earth is considered to be about 4.5 billion years old. 4.5 billion years old, and I just remember that just stuck with me. It all that uh, if there's nothing else I remember from that class, which I do remember a lot of stuff from that class. It's that I remember. It's like wow. 4.5 billion years old and at most although technology and medicine and everything is getting better through time but at most humans are expected to live what about 100 years now not uh, not expected but we we go for that mark right 100 years somewhere in there because we're used well we're expected to live longer um and my point is 100 years at most 100 years at most as opposed to 4.6 billion years old, 4.6 billion years. Um, that's not even like a, a grain of rice. So when you tell me that someone is 19 and they're no longer here and someone is 70 something and they're no longer here, either way, I still think that's not enough time. And every, every minute is, is, every minute counts. So yesterday, um, someone mentioned at the funeral um, about the, this family friend, his cheesecake. He made delicious cheesecake. It's been a minute since I had some too. And um, it made me think because this is how my, my thought pattern is. I always think of like crazy things completely away from that topic. But um, it made me think of the Golden Girls. And one of my, that's one of my favorite shows to watch. I love to watch the reruns and I could probably quote one line from like every episode. Anyway, if you've never seen the show before, the ladies would always discuss 
everything over cheesecake. If there was discussion to be had, if there was a decision to be made, if there was a problem, if there was anything, they would, even just to talk about a date that they had that night, they would always discuss it over uh, eating cheesecake. So um, I think someone had offered uh, B. Arthur, who played Dorothy, a um, a slice of cheesecake or whatever it was, and she was talking about something having to do with weight loss and um, not wanting to gain any weight or whatever. And she recalled a story about a friend of hers and that this friend had waited her whole life to go to Paris. That was her dream. She always wanted to go to Paris. And she finally made to Paris. And so she's trying to be all cute and sweet and nice and whatever and sensible and goes into a, one of the restaurants and orders a watercress sandwich. A watercress sandwich, for those of you who don't, have, don't know or have never had it, it's like a lettuce sandwich, basically. It's a little finger sandwich. You hear people talk about it when they're having like high tea or in the afternoon or a tea party or something. It's like a nothing sandwich, okay? And um, she leaves the restaurant and one of those gorgeous gargoyles that Paris is known for falls on the head and kills her. And uh, D uh, Dorothy is like, and can you imagine her last meal? was a watercress sandwich are you serious like it was a watercress sandwich and it was kind of like the case to eat the cheesecake so that's why i am um titling this uh video is as what is your cheesecake now when i say cheesecake or your cheesecake um i'm using that as a metaphor for what is it that you would indulge in but you don't the thing that you know from day to day that would bring joy to your day happiness to your day, a smile to your face uh, will make the day go by easier. Something that would bring happiness to your day. What is it that would be a, a great addition to your day that you don't indulge in? Now, for some people, it might actually be cheesecake. <laughs> Me, definitely. I love cheesecake. And we're here in New York because we got Julian's. Um, but, I mean, like, the, it, is it spending more time with your children? Is it uh, pampering yourself just a little bit more? Is it um, anything, anything? What is it that would add something to your day? I feel like we always talk about life is short and this is something we all know. We, all, we, we have t-shirts that say it. it's always a saying that everyone always, always uses and we know it. But do we actually practice it? I feel like we get so sidetracked by, the, by everything so fast all the time. We're always texting and uh, talking on the phone we have the bluetooth in our ear we're always checking our facebook statuses or updating it or tweeting or um watching television while typing something on the computer and we're always go 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 we're always on the cutting edge we want the best the fastest always just we need to be on top of everything at all the time and i feel like we miss out on things things of the heart and things that would add to your life things of a great sentiment that we just completely ignore and miss so i was watching an episode of married to medicine which is a reality show on bravo and i was watching it just before this 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 before uh, deciding to tape this so this is why i'm bringing this up but there are many more examples that illustrate this but uh one of the couples that um this show married to medicine follows is uh mariah and aiden and um mariah is aiden's wife and aiden is a physician and um this um on this episode she and he were discussing you know his 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 night before at the hospital and he said that there were a couple of deaths and you know she said that even though with his schedule and you know all the hard work he puts in he still makes it his priority to pick up his children every day now if you look at their lifestyle um if she can't pick them up they could hire somebody to pick them up that's not the issue he wants to pick his children up because that time is that important to him that is just his thing he that makes him happy that is what brings something special to his day and i was like you know he got it he got it he i mean in some small way he gets it maybe it's because he's a physician maybe it's because he deals with like with life and, and death and um health and and wellness maybe he gets it and and that's his part of one of the smaller things he does during the day that really adds a joy to his day so um, that reminded me of a passage from Irma Bombeck. If you've never read a book by her or heard of her before, she was uh, an American author. And she used to uh, write about suburban life in America. 
And um, in the early 90s, she had um, been diagnosed with a form of cancer. And she wrote this passage, and it always sticks out in my mind because I heard it um, either was on the television or on the radio or something like that. I remember it specifically because I remember r hearing her read it. And I just wanted to read it to you guys in case, for, for those of you who have not. But it's kind of like acknowledging all the small things throughout the day that we normally don't, that really bring something to your life that you just don't notice. So anyway... The passage is called, If I Had My Life to Live Over, by Irma Bombeck, and I apologize ahead of time for looking away from the camera. So, she says, um, If I had my life to live over, I would have talked less and listened more. I would have invited friends over to dinner even if the carpet was stained and the sofa faded. I would have eaten the popcorn in the good living room, y'all know the one with like the plastic over the good furniture? and worried much less about the dirt when someone wanted to light a fire in the fireplace. I would have taken the time to listen to my grandfather ramble about his youth. I would never have insisted the car windows be rolled up on a summer day because my hair had just been teased and sprayed. I would have burned the pink candle sculpted like a rose before it melted in storage. I think we all have one of those at home. I would have sat on the lawn with my children and not worried about grass stains. I would have cried and laughed less while watching television and more while watching life. I would have shared more of the responsibility carried by my husband. I would have gone to bed when I was sick instead of pretending the earth would go into a holding pattern if I weren't there for the day. I would never have bought anything just because it was practical, wouldn't show soil, or was guaranteed to last a lifetime. Instead of wishing away nine months of pregnancy, I'd have cherished every moment and realized that the wonderment growing inside me was the only chance in life to assist God in a miracle. I love that one. I love it. When my kids kissed me impetuously, I would never have said, later, now go get washed up for dinner. There would have been more I love yous and more I'm sorry's. But mostly, given another shot at life, I would seize every moment, look at it, and really see it, live it, and never give it back. And that's by Irma Bombeck. So I just want to ask you guys again, what, what is your, your cheesecake? Really think about it. What is the, the thing that you would normally indulge in? That thing that would make you so, so happy to do that you just neglect every day? Because I'm here to tell you, it, just do it. Like Nike, just do it, you guys. Just do it. If it makes you happy just to spend a little bit extra time with your children and, and watch the magic trick that they learned or to... And just embrace the small moments. You know, you don't know how much it means, how much you remember the time your your daughter put on your high heel shoes and your and your jewelry. I know it seems simple, but it's something that you remember. Or 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 watching your your son play with your basketball for the first time and the ball rolls away and he tries to run after it. I mean, those small moments they they do, they add up and they mean a lot to you. I mean, think about it this way. Will you really remember that email that you stayed late, a couple of minutes late at work to send, that you probably could have sent the next day? Or would you remember the nice, beautiful stroll on the beach when you watched the beautiful sunset that day? What will you remember? I, I can almost guarantee you it'll probably be the stroll on the beach. I just keep thinking, whether you're one year old or a hundred years old, Every moment is is special, it's it's fleeting, it'll go by faster than you know, but every moment is very precious. Just please, you guys, just embrace it. Just embrace it. So figure out what your cheesecake is, and eat it, drink it, go to the concert, buy it, wear it, do it. Just, just do it, you guys. Please. Please do your cheesecake. Anyway, so one last thing I just um, want you guys, if there's nothing else that you take away from this video, take away this quote. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's uh, one that I leave on my phone so that I can read it from time to time. And it's by George Carlin, the comedian. And he said, life's journey is not to arrive at the grave safely in a well-preserved body, but rather to skid in sideways, worn out, shouting, holy shit, what a ride. So 
you guys have a good ride. Anyway, if you guys have any comments, questions, or responses, please leave them in the box below. If you haven't, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, take care, you guys. Bye.